custom Nightwing. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed my last video I posted, my Invincible Custom. I got, that got pretty good amount of views. I've been busy in a lot of, you know, uh, back uh, thoughts. You know, people were thinking about how good it was or how it looked, but yeah. So, sorry if this video was delayed. I got a little bit complex, complicated with family issues and also school and a bunch of other things. Also me like literally slacking off on Sunday and hitting that deep, deep coma type sleep on the weekend. So I didn't have no time, but throughout this week, I will be giving you guys a lot of content as in some gaming videos and a lot more content. And I realize that majority of you guys are here for like what ifs or either action figure content. So I'm gonna be grinding more on um, funny videos, what ifs, and action figure content. So I'm gonna be grinding more on that. I'm gonna give you gaming videos every once in a while, but let's dive into this custom, what you came here for. Let's dive right into it. So basically the body and everything you need for this custom, I will be going over right now. So the reason why I made this custom is well, to go with a new line I'm thinking about. I asked you guys on my commentary on my channel if I th if you think I should keep on doing the felt figures I made earlier, like my felt Batman or my custom Hush Batman figure video I made, uh, making these custom uh, figures from scratch. I was thinking about keep on doing that or either just buy a bunch of Figma Coon figures and customize those in the DC figures. And I feel like that will do a little bit more. Plus I can use them. Plus if I do make, get action figure sets, I could still use these guys instead of making like a scaled down version of all these sets. And also if I get henchmen, um, henchmen like action figure kits, I can still use these for these guys. So that's basically what I'm gonna be doing. So this figure came out really nicely and you know, the left hand kinda, you know, pop, pops off easy and there's a lot of paint rub on it. So yeah, but I'm gonna touch up all the paint rub and paint chipping after this video. I just have to get this video done and give you guys a little bit of a run through on how I made this custom. So the custom is pretty simple. It's really just a, a repaint or a paint over the the SH Figure Arts Body Coon uh, blank body. It's pretty much just a repaint over that. And I feel like it turned out really well. The repaint was really well made out and I love the glossiness of the suit and the aesthetic please of the suit. Nightwing just has a really cool aesthetically built suit that basically just is so simple, but yet so like just catchy. It's a really nice shade of colors and sometimes even has blue shading on it, but I'm just gonna keep it black plus the gloss gives it enough detail. Plus this, plus the bot, the SS Figure Wars body configures are already kind of uh, skin tight, like suit like, because they have like boot type shoes. So, yeah, so it kind of just looks like his skin tight suit. Same thing with Invincible, his suit's kind of skin tight, so I didn't have to do much of any type of phys any type of body sculpting on these figures. But when I do make the Batman and Superman customs out of these Figma Coon figures, uh, <laughs> you know, those figures eventually I will be sculpting in scene lines for like the gloves and the boots and like the the uh, belt i probably won't be sculpting the belt because of my robin custom never made a video on this guy i think i made a short tiktok on my old TikTok account uh on this guy he used to be the old invincible figure that i customized him so basically i used a little bit of i can't remember call it but like thread it's like a material like really bunchy and i put cardboard over it painted it gold and put a little black line over it and it turned out really nicely i like the more dirty gold i was going to think about just making it a lighter gold and repaint it but i do like the darker grittier colors of the gold and this is tim drake by the way just don't get thrown about the sword but this is tim drake robin i just needed a, a item or i guess a weapon for him since i couldn't really make a bow staff on the spot but i am going to make it a bow i am going to be making a bow staff soon for this guy and putting him in a few stop motions same with the nightwing and invincible so I will be making a bunch of these guys. Now, my last video, I said I was going to buy more DC collectibles to go with these SH Figure Wars body configures. And probably not. I'm probably just going to keep the SH Figure Wars figures I have. I mean, the <laughs> the DC icon figures I have and just keep those rolling. And I'm not going to really be doing much of that. 
So let's just dive right into everything. I think I just told you the basics. It's the SH Figure Arts body repaint. Nothing too much, nothing too fancy. Only real things I did besides were different from the Invincible Custom was the hair. So I added a little bit of a part, but I did like the more crooked part because it would be an more natural. Because sometimes he does have a crooked part or like a wavy type of part that's like right in the right in the side of the head. Also, I was going to do like the the spikes that are in the Nightwing logo or like the bird, but the majority of the painting and like the arts and like the what was it, concept designs I saw, he always had like just the the lines. So I just wanted to go with the lines, more simpler aesthetic design. And this guy only took me like an hour to make since it's really just an easy repaint. Nothing besides the sculpting. And I did the sculpting hair at the same time I made the Invincible hair. So I was working on both of these customs at the same time. I just finished up painting this guy in like an hour and it was handy dandy good. It was awesome. So yeah, if you look closely, I did do a little bit of light blue dry brushing on the batons. And the batons, if you don't, if you get SH Figures figures, they have those little like crates or like little, I can't remember, like plat, you know, Gundam, they have those crates of plastic pieces and you snip them out and they make the figure. Basically those pieces, the wire, the line of it, I cut it up, glided them and made them into the batons. So that's how I made the batons for this Nightwing figure. I was originally, if you guys saw my TikTok or on my TikTok, you know, go, go follow me, come on, man. You'll, You'll see my videos and my action figure ideas way, way earlier than I ever post them on my YouTube. Because I only post a video on my YouTube and then I promote it on my TikTok. But I do give you sneak pics on my TikTok and on my Instagram. Mainly on my TikTok though. But yeah. So let's just go over what you're going to need for this custom. Now it's basically the same way. All you really need is paints and some clay. You need some Corolla clay and you also need some paints. So this is the paints I use. I just love this type of paint though. It just it just works really good with this type of figure. And the material is it's a little bit of paint rub, but if you take some sanding down and you do your thing, I didn't sand it down. I just painted it. My first time working with customizing these figures besides customizing the Robin and the old Invincible. But yeah, so next time once I make the Batman custom or the Superman custom, depending on which one, which version you think I should do, should I do a classic Superman or like uh, another Hush Batman, just in the Figma uh, body coon, the SH Figure Warts body coon uh, body, do just a uh, dark blue, but I'm probably gonna do black and gray. Probably gonna buy a gray body so I can kind of, you know, not really worry too much about paint rub and then, you know, paint all the, uh, I guess, black bits black. I also will be buying a cape offline or trying to sew myself one because I'm horrible making capes. The Robin cape came out okay, but like, yeah, it, I'm gonna have to work a little bit more on that. But overall, yeah, that's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need two paints, you know, because the suit is literally just two things. And the flesh tone, I got the, the flesh tone Fig McCoon body figures. So like the head doesn't really need, the head doesn't have too much uh, paint rub. Plus I cut down on the base of the neck so it would have a little bit less paint rub, but it still has some, so it's still custom. And now I did mess up by painting two up with the black. And I mean, I'm gonna fix that soon. Maybe get like an alcohol wipe or something, try to get that out. And I see a little paint rub there. It's just a lot of paint rub coming on this figure and I'm probably gonna fix that on my next custom. And do you guys think I should just keep on, you know, going with the DC figures or maybe hit you guys with more Invincible figures? And I'm probably going to do that. My next custom is probably going to be a custom Rex Blood after my next, you know, Batman and Superman custom on these bodies. But yeah, so it gives me, it gives me reminiscent vibes of the Mafex Robin. No, the Mafex, uh, <laughs> the Mafex Nightwing. Just a lot more skinnier and more of an acrobatic type build. Because his Ro Robin, Hush Robin, is more like muscular he's more muscular he's not like really super like spider-man type of skinnier type of physique he's a lot more muscular like hush batman kind of like kingdom comes from man he's a lot more muscular looking a lot older this is more like i guess year one type of robin 
or year two type of Robin, because year one Robin had that weird wacky blue suit with the yellow and the, that did not look good. I'm not gonna hold you. He was not cooking with that, but um, yeah. So really guys, it's pretty straightforward. I just wanted to show you this figure and I'm gonna go over a little bit of the articulation and the accessories and the size comparisons. And then I'm gonna let you guys go on and have, enjoy your day. So let's go over accessories and articulation. Let's start with articulation. So it's pretty simple articulation, the same articulation as the figure, nothing really changed. I didn't modify too much about it. Um, so yeah, just, I guess like a butterfly joint, but it's more like just a really good ball joint with this over it to stop the gap. And this fig, this part of the uh, figure gets the most rubbing because right in between the arms. So, and plus it has, it needs to have that little line of paint to keep the blue design coming. And it kind of has that, but I'm gonna have to fix that up and maybe like take these parts off, sand those down, and like fix those up. Cause like, yeah, I just don't like, it's just tan here. You could say it's battle damage, like it got cut in the arm, but no. So basically articulation on the arm is pretty simple. I showed you the articulation on the head. Goes up that far, goes down that far. You can crack it if you want, since he got cracked in the back of the head with his own baton by a 12 year old boy and killed like bro how how does damien murder you on accident bro he's been hit by cars he's going up he's been going up against aliens from the jump since he was a kid bro going up against freaking gods people like superman alongside freaking batman he's been beaten and pulped by the freaking joker at one point and you're telling me a baton thrown at the back of his head for minimal to no effort because damien wasn't even trying to kill him or even try to hurt him for real. Just trying to get on his nerves. And he dies. Like, bro, what? Bro, it's weak. And plus that one time he got hit in a, what was it? He got hit in the back of the head and he fell over and he hit his, and he cracked his neck on a rock in an alleyway. Bro, what is you doing? So articulation is pretty simple. It goes up that far. Goes down that far. A little bit of ankle rocker and the toe joint has doesn't, doesn't have too much paint rub on it and it goes out that far over there and it turns around pretty tight joints i love the tight joints paint rub again goes down that far not too much i probably am going to modify a lot more of these figma coon figures once i get better at customizing these bodies and SH Figure Arts, not Figma Coon. SH Figure Arts, sorry guys. SH Figure Arts. But yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's better. That's a little bit better. But yeah, overall. And it goes back that it goes on the side that much. And it works pretty well. A little bit loose, but it is what it is. So yeah, so overall, pretty good custom articulation and also the arms go up that far and only it's like, a, it's like single joint this joint right here does not move i've tried it and maybe but not much it, it won't budge and i'm not gonna try to break the figure so yeah so yeah i don't know if this is the real deal you gotta be joking me right now man oh my god bro glaze over that and let's get right into the accessories so i already told you i already showed you the batons we got the batons with the grabby hands the grabby hands or the not the grabby hands but the splayed out hands a little bit of this little splayed out hands you know pointer hands it's more of a pointing hand pretty nice pretty nice fisted hands Pause up, man. Fisted hands. Fold holding hand. Painted this phone. Could do better, but it's pretty good for what it, for it, what it is. Key sign. The peace sign, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let me flip that around for you guys. You know, just the paint. The paint sign on the hand to fit the the stripe on the on the uh sleeve. <laughs> got the conversation hands the wide open like i guess open hands i don't know expressive hands that one fell off it is what it is let's do some size comparisons 
So let's put him next to Robin. And this is a pretty good size comparison. A lot shorter than Nightwing since he is supposed to be older. And Tim Drake's supposed to be a lot younger than Dick Grayson Robin since he's the first Robin. And his third Robin. So let's, you know, get him out here. Let's put him next to a Marvel Legends. And he's got, he sizes not much. Not good with Marvel Legends though. Marvel Legends are a lot more bigger scale than SH Figure Arts and what they be doing. So like, yeah, so I'm gonna be making all new figures for that. Also, I will be making some custom team and T figures based off the Mezco design since I've had that idea in the back of my head, like making clay um, team and T figures for a long time, and I was just inspired to really go head first into it with the Mezco, the new release with the Mezco. So this is him next to the Tag Hunt Cyborg, and one final time, this is him next. DC icons, <laughs> sorry, DC icons. John Smith, I think his name is. I'm I'm not good with Green Lanterns, uh, but next to DC icons, Green Lantern. So yeah, a lot taller since, but technically he is older, so it kind of makes it better. Like it's kind of a good sizing. I don't know. So yeah, but actually one more time, let, let, let's put him next to a next to a next to a chunky boy. Next to a chunky boy, you know what I'm saying? A chunky boy, yeah, gargantually bigger. I mean, god dang, bro. So, yeah, so I'll get to the video. It was like and subscribe, and as always, guys, have a blessed day. Deuces.